Let's take a closer look at some of the menus and controls on the Genesis FDM 3D printer. When you turn on the printer, it starts you with the main screen. The bottom portion of the screen will always display the nozzle actual and set temperature, print speed percentage, part cooling fan setting, print bed actual and set temperature, extrusion speed percentage, Z offset distance, and XYZ coordinates. The coordinates will flash blank when not zeroed. Rotate the control knob to navigate and click it to select the highlighted option. The print option browses the files on the inserted micro SD card and you can select one to print. Once you select one, it will automatically load it and take you to the print in progress menu, which I'll cover at the end of this video. If you need to go back, always scroll to the top for the back option. The next menu is the prepare menu. As the name suggests, there is a lot here you can do to prepare for printing. The first option is move, which you can manually set the position of the axes with, very useful for bed leveling. If not zeroed, it will auto zero, and then you can set the position of each axis by clicking it and scrolling the position in millimeters that you want. Going back, the second option is disable steppers. Clicking it will unlock the stepper motor so you can move the axes by hand. Never force the axes to move before disabling the steppers. That could cause damage to the printer. Next is auto home. This will zero out the print head to its origin in the bottom left of the build plate. I don't use this next option often, but set home offsets can be used to define the zero point as somewhere other than where it hits the limit switches. Preheat profile one and two will preheat the nozzle and build plate to the temperature set in the settings menu, which we will talk about in a minute. The last option at the bottom is cool down. This is useful for turning off the nozzle and build plate heaters to allow the printer to cool. The next menu is settings. Here you can manually set the nozzle and bed temperature and adjust the preheat profiles one and two like I mentioned. Do not modify anything in the motion menu because these parameters are preset at the factory and altering them could make the machine function poorly. Store and load settings lets you save and load machine profiles on the micro SD card. Restore defaults will factory reset the machine. The info menu has details about the machine, build volume size, firmware version, and how to get in contact with us. To wrap this up, let's get a print going and check out the print in progress menu. Here we have the main print in progress screen. Here you can view the print percentage progress, print time elapsed in hours and minutes, and estimated time remaining. You can use the control knob to pause the print or stop and exit the print. The tune option will open you to a settings screen where you can adjust settings on the fly. The print speed percentage can be turned up or down. 100% speed is the speed that was set in the slicer when the G-code was created. For example, you can adjust it to 10% faster, 110%, or 5% slower, 95%. Nozzle temp and bed temp can be changed. The part cooling fan speed can be overridden and manually set. Probe Z offset, or simply Z offset, is a great setting for hitting the perfect first layer because it lets you change the nozzle height in real time. You are simply adjusting the height in millimeters, so small adjustments like 0.05 millimeters can go a long way. That's it, pretty simple, right? If you wanna get on the path to slicing and printing parts you designed or off the internet, check out our next video where I dive into setting up a software program called Ultimaker Kira.